Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Foggy and Fly. This game taking place here on Autumn Leaves 1.6. On the bottom left hand side of the map, we have Fly spawning as the Red Orc. Foggy has spawned as the Dark Blue Night Elf. On the top right, great, great um, game to look forward to. Foggy playing on the NetEase server, so we may see a little bit of lag, potential lag issue. But always great to see well more east east meets west types of matchups hello hello how are you doing thanks for stopping by thanks for joining in i've been having a great great time so far um thanks you are welcome you are welcome to stop on by anytime for all you guys uh, watching on youtube you are welcome to stop on by as well thanks for watching um and enjoying the content um it's i know you guys have a lot of choices out there um, on who you watch Warcraft 3. I guess not a lot of choices. There isn't too many of us out there, um, especially with um, the game being handicapped the way it has been these past couple of years. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down. Foggy opening up with an Ancient of War right there, Keeper of the Grove. Archer should be popping on out and then clearing out this 4-3-2 creep camp. Meanwhile, off on the other side, it is going to be a Blade Master with a single Grunt, perhaps. And we are also going to be looking whether or not um, Fly is going to use that extra one supply to try, or, or extra two supply, or extra one supply to try and train up and get a little bit more lumber, or perhaps go for a different type of strategy. Well, there's no grand finals in Dr. Warcraft channel for attack. now. Well, yeah, I really, really wish that there was um, Neo on vacation. Well, yeah, there's Neo and Remo. Well, n th those guys have been working so hard for so long. Um, yeah, and they, they do need a bit of a break sometimes. Force Troll Berserker, Blade Master going to go in and clear up this creep camp. Meanwhile, back off to the north here, Ancient of War has taken a, t a, taken a beating, but it keeps on ticking as that Frost Wolf, whoa, almost um, got taken down by the Ancient of War. Mid swing stop to pick up a tree instead coming down from the north keeper of the grove and dsl is before this stream so i won't miss this all right all right so keeper of the grove gonna make its way down as well neo is a, neo is a mastermind um yeah neo's been doing a neo's been doing a great job he he has a lot of idea and vision and planning for what he wants the back the warcraft channel to be and and that the also takes time energy that. and effort so just making a back to Warcraft, uh, the, the channel, um, the primary place to get your Warcraft 3 needs and Warcraft 3 fix is absolutely, absolutely a, a grand, great strategy. Um, yeah, I enjoy some back to Warcraft as well uh, from, well, fairly regularly, actually, not even from time to time. Keeper of the Grove looking to perhaps finish off some of these easy trance however blade master has something to say about this gonna go after perhaps take that last forest troll trapper gain a little bit of that experience blade master gets the final hit right there now going after that keeper of the grove keeper of the grove absorbing a little bit of damage archers are now showing back up as the blade master looking to finish off no gets denied right there beautiful beautiful play by foggy denying that trian as the blade master still chases after that keeper of the grove Wisps are wisp archers are down. Meanwhile, over here to the top right hand side of the map, Tree of Life now taking the tier two, um, a little bit behind Fo um, Fly. So Foggy is not going to have access to tier two nearly as quickly. Um, is the Blade Master going to be supported by the attack. Shadow Hunter? That is the question. I do believe so. But are we going to be looking at well, Wind Riders, Raiders? What exactly will we be looking at? in this next portion of the game keeper of the grove sitting at level two looking to get um well get some more experience perhaps inch its way towards level three blade master of fly with a large amount of where, where is that blade master looking for oh, there it is blade master uh, with a plethora of items um, able to heal up a sp scroll of speed also being used as well making its way back down perhaps going to try and disrupt this keeper of the grove as we are looking at the force troll trapper um, about to get taken down does have bloodlust blade master may be able to get off the last shot off take that experience is he going to be able to do it yes he does and he gets level two 
Ensnare goes down onto the archer but doesn't reveal to the Blade Master as he was not the one who cast the Ensnare. Blade Master now perhaps going to try and regroup here. 27 supply compared to 29. 15 supply army compared to 16 as the Shadow Hunter is currently getting trained up. That was that means there was what two grunts out in play. Um or two grunts out here holding the door as that Blade Master still holds on at level two. Potion of replenishment used right there. Tree of life already up nearly upgraded the tree of ages. As the keeper of the grove looking to perhaps clear out some more easy creep camps, this 533 creep camp will be giving the keeper of the grove level three. All right, Ogre Magi easily taken down. Tome of Strength plus two, double Cloak of Shadows. Um, well, Cloak of Shadows right there, gonna be quickly sold off. And well, what is Foggy's follow up play? Shadow Hunter already sitting at level one. Let's take a look back here. Are we seeing a second hero as of yet? Or are we going to be going into a tavern hero? It is going to be the Alchemist coming in from Foggy and um, acting as a little bit of additional heal. Meanwhile, the Shadow Hunter and the Blade Master, um, well, a great one two combination, but they are currently not working together as the Shadow Hunter himself tries to get to level two. Level two Shadow Hunter. Um, Serpent Ward being the primary ability here, and Serpent Wards are actually uh, Mahuntress's worst nightmare. Cloak of Shadows being left behind here. There's an Entangle, there's an Acid Bomb, there's a Surround, and that's a problem as the Blade Master tries to do a Wind Walk push to get the Shadow Hunter out of that tight spot. However, there was more than enough room to break free right there as we're looking at, well, the, the Keeper of the Grove absorbing quite a bit of damage. Entangle now going down as the Huntress is breaking sh um, Shadow Meld there. Finally, Keeper of the Grove getting in more Entangles. And this is a beautiful game by Foggy here. And maximizing up, maximizing the damage, taking down some of these grunts. Serpent Wards should be getting taken down here in just a moment. There is another Shadow Meld keeping all of those units alive and simply outlasting and outweighting those Serpent Wards. There goes another Keeper of the Grove Entangle. Is there going to be enough damage onto that Grunt? Grunt, is it going to get purged? Is it going to be free? Acid Bomb coupled with Entangle and, well, get, still gets taken down. All right, Keeper of the Grove running off to the north here. Should have perhaps given one of the Cloak of Shadows to the Alchemist if he wants that particular style of strategy. Blade Master, well, unable to finish off the Keeper of the Grove as it teleports back home. Foggy during this time was able to uh, well start to establish up this entangled gold mine. And this expansion, if it gets up and running, will spell a definite problem for Fly. Uh, 31 supply compared to 34. Are we going to see an entangle? Yes, we are. But the Blade Master, um, well, cast was able to use the Staff of Teleportation after that right there. All right. Meanwhile, Ogre Magi still taking a little bit of damage here. Um, Murloc Flesh Eaters making their way back around. Shadow Hunter gets up to level 2. A Grunt is absorbing quite a bit of damage. Going to go ahead and back away, get, dropping a Potion of Invulnerability. The perfect item for that Blade Master and when the time comes. Grunts and Blade Master still engaging off over here. Entangle catching another Grunt out of position. And this Grunt is just going to end up getting taken down. Serpent Wards are being thrown down here. There goes another Grunt as well. And there's a Purge onto the um, from uh, the Shaman finishing things up and while well, trying to take down some more units. Hunter's trying to get in front. There is another Acid Bomb. Scroll of Speed not able to get enough Potion of Invulnerability used in time as that Shadow Hunter will stay alive, catching a couple more Huntresses out of position. Another Wisp about to get taken down. It gets felled as well as the Blade Master is going to be in a little bit of trouble. He is well entangled and there is a Sentinel there keeping track, scouting him out. Blade Master falls at level 2. Level two, Blade Master. Well, where is that Shadow Hunter? Shadow Hunter needs to heal back up. Blade Master quickly getting resurrected. Level three, Keeper of the Grove, and Foggy is up on experience. He's up on expansion, and he's up in terms of army. He should have everything going for him, but will Foggy find a way to close out this game? Alchemist staying at level two, Keeper of the Grove, and the teleport back home. Still not sure why he has. Well, sells those cloaks of shadows, and now, well using the moonstone picking up a clarity potion and ready to head on out into the battle here we are last forest troll berserker to get taken down it goes down and now we have a battle straight up keeper of the grove 
Um, well, nowhere to be seen. Shadowhunter trying to retreat. Blade Master still looking to get resurrected. No acid bomb. No easy way to slow down any of these units as the Huntresses are closing in on that distance. Keeper of the Grove now rounding up the back here. Are we going to see an entangle onto some units and perhaps get in some get in some damage? No. No entangle onto the grunt as I would have expected, as that would have been the perfect time to try and focus down a unit. Instead, finding the, the, the potential expansion of fly and shutting that down before it gets up and operational, as this peon, well, has seen better days. All right, Shadow Hunter, Blade Master, Grunt, making its way through. Um, well, shamans are here as well. Keeper of the Grove and Keeper of the Grove and Alchemist are ready to, to go into position. Blade Master getting ready to engage here, and where are we? Perhaps going to go next. Huntresses catching their opponent off guard from behind, going to get in some damage. Level three on that Shadow Hunter, though. Level two Serpent Wards will be thrown down, and now a couple of purges to slow down that leading Huntress as the Staff of Preservation saves. All right, more Serpent Wards are being thrown down, but the well the creep camps are actually getting in the way of fly as foggy is just choosing these battles so so well and making it difficult and damage seems to be be applied to fly's army at least somewhere constantly continuing this engagement here trying to take down some of those shaman however a dip more difficult than it looks as we're looking at serpent wards continuing to poke apart those last remaining units blade master looking to finish off or uh, finish off or pressure this keeper of the grove back why doesn't the hero focus the wards um, well, trying to focus down the wards, um, trying to focus down a temporary unit is, is always a little bit of a risky behavior, even if, um, even if it is dealing major, major damage. Keeper of the Grove, well, able to retreat back with that Alchemist. More damage coming back on through. Alchemist does have healing spray, but doesn't want to stand still long enough to actually take that damage. Keeper of the Grove can turn back around, perhaps get an entangle on that Blade Master. Alchemist down to 163 hit points. Are we going to see a critical strike death on that Alchemist? Alchemist doesn't have much armor as the Keeper of the Grove purposely gets into harm's way. Alchemist back at home, healing up, buys up another healing potion and also picking up a clarity potion as well meanwhile quick roar right there shadow hunter blade master both sitting at level three keeper of the grove is here perhaps gonna get to level four um and well still looking to engage here so the increased xp gain due to the patch isn't worth it well it, it isn't worth it to try and break um to, just to simply uh, drop it was you don't want to shut down the experience of it was worth it um, to try and help a little bit more. I mean, the Serpent Wards were just dealing crazy amounts of damage without um, without any real reward if you're trying to focus it off. Alchemist going to get taken down right there. Purge coming off nicely as the Shadow Hunter keeping things alive and well. Fly could end up losing the Blade Master as the Keeper of the Grove gets up to level 4. Level 4 right there as the Huntresses now are just simply trying to retreat away. But a wall of grunts and the Tree Ants are actually making it difficult to try and retreat back. Instead, Shadow Meld is going to be used here as the, as the Serpent Wards are going to actually take damage from the Archers here. Archers with farther range than the Serpent Wards can focus down the Serpent Wards before the Serpent Wards themselves can focus back and deal any, any sort of real damage. All right, Keeper of the Grove halfway to level 5 already. Alchemist is still out of commission as the Keeper of the Grove is going to find the Grunt right here. Try to finish things off. There's a purge onto that Grunt to try and save it as the Healing Wave bouncing around again still. All right, damage adding in rather nicely. Grunt finally taken out for, our, for whatever seemed like forever and a day as the Huntresses are trying to Shadow Melt and hide themselves from those Serpent Wards. 27 to 30 damage is rather high. More damage getting added in here. We are looking at a, such a large army, but it is just all Shadow Meld right here as the Serpent Wards. Well, there's a reveal, and now all of a sudden these units are going to be in trouble. Are we going to see multiple units get taken down? No, we are not. Even with the reveal, um, does, not, does not take down so many units. We need to see more healing spray. We need to see more... Um, more of everything right now as many of those units were low on hit points alchemist needs to pick up a clarity potion and uses that clarity potion and wants to be able to use another healing spray in this next battle so many units low on hit points
Shadow Hunter gets up to level four. Treant's getting purged down in pretty much an instant. Meanwhile, back off to the north here, Alchemist is going to get to level 3. Does have a Scroll of Protection alongside of Scroll of Healing. Keeper in the Grove can try and pick up a Scroll of Healing as well. That would work out extremely well as Foggy may end up losing this expansion. This is not what you want to be seeing here. Keeper in the Grove, does, uh, does he pick up some additional items? It does not look like he picks up additional much of any items there as one Moonwell gets taken down. Archer, Scroll of Protection right there and that extra bit of armor is going to cause problems. Fly is, well, trying to commit to this fight here, but doesn't know how far he can really go as the Alchemist in that front line with four armor, so much more difficult to take out. All right, Keeper of the Grove still fighting their way through. Healing spray being used. Archer, or uh, Archer taking lightning shield damage from that Blade Master. Blade Master trying to, well, break his way free as the Keeper of the Grove now is sitting at level five. All right, more at level five. There is a, there is a level three entangle. Blade Master currently out of commission for a little bit but should be able to break free here in just a second. 59 supply compared to 41. Foggy's still in a great spot to, and a commanding spot in this game as well, the Blade Master may finish off a handful of archers. No, so many low hit point archers. One, two low hit point archers, low hit point huntress, all still able to live and fight another day. Meanwhile, the expansion is about to get shut down here. Foggy trying to keep the repairs up and going uh, at what 60 supply compared to 41 army sizes are relatively similar to what 32 to 42 at this point as the healing spray healing up many of those units. Tree ants are now going to be joining back in on the fight. All right, Serpent Wards are down. Shadow Hunter sitting at level four. If the Shadow Hunter gets to level five, then that may be a very different matchup as the Serpent Wards then just become that much stronger being able to poke apart many of those huntresses. Staff of Preservation saves the Keeper of the Grove. Alchemist still in this battle. There is a purge onto the Alchemist. Alchemist trying to teleport away down to dead. Yes, down to dead as Fly finishes off the level three Goblin Alchemist. With the Alchemist now gone, a lot of the healing that was keeping these units alive is now uh, disrupted as well as the Blade Master now trying to retreat back. All right, there is one Watchtower here providing a bit of cover. The Keeper of the Grove now dives on in here. Treant should be joining in on the battle to try and finish off the last of this creep camp here. Shamans could try and purge down. Are they going to purge or go after those forces of nature? Not quite sure. Fly sitting at 43 supply now. A great and has been able to um, well catch up and now taking the army supply advantage since Foggy has additional workers. All right, more engagement getting underway. Uh, well, Huntress easily going to get finished off right there. Coming back through this ancient of or this voodoo loud providing some item support for that shadow hunter having mana pretty much seamlessly for days as we're looking at the shadow hunter getting closer to level five. Fly looks like he's going to be able to finish out this game foggy with so many advantages just moments ago now looking like he is gonna drop this game to fly here especially if fly gets the level five on that shadow hunter trying to get some damage onto some of those units staff of preservation saves the archer shamans um, don't really deal that much damage and they don't have that much mana being a major setback right here keeper of the grove gets another entangle off onto a grunt that grunt could end up getting taken down here no purge onto that grunt Run still getting choked around 45 damage a second does add up over time as the archers are looking to finish off some units. Alchemist seeing that level three, one grunt finally getting purged away as the serpent wards. Well, just focus down the serpent wards. That is a little bit of damage here. Instead, going after the grunts and those long term units. Lo well, very low hit point grunt down to 600 hit point. Archers could try and finish things off. One quick volley could be enough here as we are looking at additional moon wells being placed down. Um, as well 53 supply compared to 49 foggy is still a little bit behind economic or in terms of the supply uh, army supply race but he is mining more gold than his opponent right now the difficulty though is the fact that well he doesn't have a full saturation and foggy is now currently supply blocked at 52 over 50 supply unable to train up units even though he desperately wants to Wisp coming back on over. Are they going to repair as well? No, they are not. Not repairing this entangled gold mine, which is staying steady at 533 hit points. All right, continuing this battle, Blade Master and Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter will get to level five here, and once we have level five on this Shadow Hunter, all bets are well six experience. There's got to be enough experience, right? Yes, 
pretty much right on the money to get that Shadow Hunter to level 5 with level th level 3. Nope, hasn't trained any abilities yet. Um, level, three, level 3 Healing Wave. Alright, so level 3 Healing Wave instead of level 3 Serpent Wards. We're going to go ahead and finish them off more of those units. Voodoo Loungers quickly taken down. So no more home field advantage or shopping at the mini mart, so to speak, as... Fly now trying to retreat back. Fly still seen at 49 over 51. Economically speaking, well, 10 gold a second compared to 14 uh, isn't that big of a difference. The army size of Fly now finally starting to inch ahead once more as he is as he was able to remove that supply cap ceiling. Blade Master looking to engage. Level 4, level 5. Shadow Hunter sitting at level 5. Going after an archer. Archer gets a quick purge, gets taken down easily as the Alchemist does have a scroll of healing and a scroll of protection. Flies has just been playing an amazing, amazing game. And Foggy has not been able to shut down his opponent at all. Acid Bomb going down. Archer, well, Archer's going to finish off a couple of those grunts who are have who have a significantly less armor as another grunt fights the dust. Scroll of Protection finally being used. And, well, this is going to be key here. Healing Spray trying to keep these units alive. And it does exactly that as, well, a grunt walks away barely. Level 3 Healing Wave clipping him just in time. More schools of healing being used by Foggy to try and win out this battle. This war of attrition, 43 supply compared to 55. More healing spray along that back line there as the Blade Master now trying to dive on in. But the Blade Master only doing 100 point critical or critical strikes right now. 129 doesn't have that much bonus damage, but does finally get up to level 5. Coming through, Blade Master looking to engage after on to that Keeper of the Grove and that Alchemist. 53 supply compared to 40. Units are, well, having a little bit of trouble trying to back away as there is no more mining left for Fly. Fly, well, for as well of a game as he is playing, may end up losing the match just because he doesn't have an expansion and hasn't been able to really punish his opponent at all. Back off to the North Keeper of the Grove, sitting at level 5 here. We're going to see the Blade Master Wisp now, well, trying to regroup once more. And we still have a, quite a bit of mining left. Eight minutes of mining for Foggy. And still. All right. Great haul of Fly nearly done. And it looks as though, well, long distance mining is going to be coming to an end. Wisp now being brought over. Archers are all here looking to perhaps finish off many of those shamans. Shamans uh, do have our unarmored units. Do take quite a bit of damage. There are some more detonations as well. As we have a fight at the Great Hall. 37 supply compared to 54. Healing spray. Trying to save up all of those units. Grunts getting taken down. Huntress is holding that front door line for so long. Looks like it will finally get taken out. No shadow meld. Keeping it alive still. Treants easily getting finished off right there. Massive purges coming back on through. But that means that the entangles may be able to last a little while longer as there is, well, mana issues on those shaman. Lightning shield onto the Blade Master. Blade Master now, well, well potion of lesser invulnerability, um, able to stick around and still fight some more. Alchemist still in a little bit of trouble. Keeper of the Grove, very close to level six now. Gonna perhaps try and get them, um, take down a couple of grunts and shamans and that should be enough right there of uh, finishing off. There it is, level six. Keeper of the Grove could go for Tranquility and then try and save up some of these units. I don't see any raiders anywhere. Tranquility actually makes quite a bit of sense as the Shadow Hunter falls at level five. Level five Shadow Hunter falls and that in fact will be the game. There goes another entangle onto that Blade Master. And there you have it. Foggy taking out Fly. Um, the game going the distance until Fly pretty much wasn't mining at all. Foggy capitalized on that advantage as best he could and was able to come away with the W even though it got close at times. Hope you guys learned something. Let me know what you guys think about the game in the comments below and I'll see you next time.